Hey guys, it's Huff, I am back again and this is going to be an update for the Birthstone Beauties Project Pan. Then I'm doing a collaboration with a whole bunch of lovely ladies from the Pantastic Ladies. They of course will all be linked down below. This project hasn't really had much movement in it since I finished off the ruby red lip liner two months ago. Uh, I have used some of these products, um, but not a whole lot. Uh, but, you know... That's fine. So the first one for January is Garnet from the Lorac Pro Palette. Um, and I have used it a couple of times, but it doesn't look any different. Help with it there. It doesn't look any different. Um, but I have used it a couple of times. I know I've used it. <laughs> the Matte Amethyst Lipstick for February has had the smallest little movement there. I wore it like twice. Um, but because it's matte and it's quite pigmented, you don't really need a lot. Uh, for March, I had the Aquafoil um, eye pigment. This, I, I think I used it like once. So it doesn't look any different. Um, Diamond Lust from NYX I did not use. The Moonstone Nail Polish I did use and we have a little bit of movement. So that is cool. Um, July and August were both already done. September is the All Night Blue uh, Pressed Pigment from L'Oreal. I did not use that. The October one is Opal from my Lorac Mega Pro, and I have started using this to set my primer. Um, it's starting to get a wear mark in it a little bit, but not quite a dent yet. We're almost at a dent. Uh, next is a little denim dress, uh, which I didn't use at all, and, uh, sorry, lemon head, which I didn't use at all, and lastly we have a little denim dress from NYX, which I think I used like once, so uh, yeah, I don't know how much is left in that. Um, oh, and I missed Emerald City, which is the eyeliner that I had in for May, and it has had a little tiny bit of movement right there. So, some of them have had a little bit of movement in them, but nothing uh, major. But that's the nature of some of these projects. They just don't really go very fast. Uh, yeah, so that is it for the Birthstone Beauties update. It's going to be an update for the Every Day is a Holiday project pan that I... Uh, the first one is New Year's Eve, which is... Stroke of Midnight, which I did use, but the line is, like, it's so close to underneath there that it's not any point putting a new line. It'll just look like a really thick line. Uh, second is Valentine's Day, which is the French Kiss Lip Gloss from Medusa Makeup. Um, I've used this a few times. It does not like to slide down the side. So it's, like, I can go like this and see the side but it doesn't like to slide down and sit properly so I'm not really sure how much is in here I just keep using it <laughs> uh, St. Patrick's Day was already done Easter is the Irresistible Chocolates Duo from Essence, I have actually used this a couple of times but you wouldn't know it because it looks exactly the same <laughs> it's one of those eyeshadows um for Cinco de Mayo, we have the uh, Color Tattoo in Fuchsia Fever, which I have used a couple of times. Um, when I do purple eyes, I quite often use this underneath, if I remember to. Like, I didn't today. Uh, yeah. 
International Beer Day is Improper Copper um, from L'Oreal. This won't look any different. Um, I've used it a couple of times. It's one of those ones that just make pigments and loose eyeshadows last bloody forever. 9-11 um, Remembrance Day is the Positive Energy Nail Polish, which hasn't moved. I uh, don't think I painted my nails silver in the last two months. Uh, Thanksgiving, I have the Espresso from the La Roque Pro. I have actually started using this one a bit more. It's that dark one there. It already had pan in it. I've just been slowly working on expanding that pan. Um, it is a bit bigger than it was when we started. Um, Dutch King's Day, um, my Christmas one I took out. Oh, I've missed one. Flag Day. Flag Day is the Claytime Bronzer, which I have to knock down. Um, it really doesn't look too much. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of difference. I have been using it as my bronzer, so I've got to look at it through light in order to see it, because the So, that's I've had a little bit of movement in that one. It's super pigmented and a little bit too dark for me, so I have to be super careful with it. Um, and lastly, the Dutch, Dutch King's Day is, um, I changed it to the... Uh, what's it called? Tutti Fruity from Revlon. And this is super hard to measure because maybe I'll measure it that way. Um, I don't know whether, I mean, I've used it a few times, I've probably used it more than I've used anything else. Um, those were my, like, weird lines last time, but I've kind of changed how I'm measuring it, so that's where we are. That's how much we have to use, so, yeah, we're getting there. Um, I'm not worried about any of these products. A lot of these are ones that will probably just go back into my collection, except maybe the lip gloss, um, which will probably go um, at the end of the year if I haven't used it up. So yeah, that is my update for the Everyday is a Holiday Project Pan. It's going to be a very long overdue update of my Lip Service Project Pan. Um, I've ended up only updating this every uh, two months instead of every month like I should be. Um, so last um, time I updated, which was in July, I had the things that I was going to be working on were the Elf Lip Exfoliator in Mint, which I have that much left. So I used that much from there to there in two months. I kept forgetting to use it. Um, the other thing I was using was the Carmex Lip Balm in... Um, was it jasmine green tea and we are about halfway now um this has gone lots faster than i thought it was going to um but yeah we're about halfway now so um i'm pretty happy with that the lipstick i was using was the tutti frutti from revlon i have like that much left of that one um it's made a little bit of progress not a huge amount and the lip liner I was using is the Fuego lip liner from Crown. Again, it's had a little bit of progress. I haven't really worn a huge amount of makeup in the last two months. I did wear it like three days in a row, or four days in a row, and then I didn't wear it again for like two weeks. <laughs> so for September, I am going to continue to work on the Elf Ex Lip Exfoliator and the Carmex. They are both not in any other projects. The um, Fuego and the, the Butter in other projects. Um, but I'm going to change those two out for two new products that are in a new project that I've just started. So the first one is the Chi Chi Lipstick in Hollywood Wannabe, which is a kind of fuchsia -y purple colour. 
Um, we're coming into spring, so it seems like a good colour to be wearing. Um, and the Lacura Lip Liner in Head Over Heels, which is probably a bit dark but for the, that lipstick, but it'll work fine. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be working on in September. Uh, hopefully I will actually update this one at the start of October and change some stuff over. We'll see. Um, yeah, if you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos. Don't forget to check everybody else out from Fantastic Ladies down below. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!